We have a rogue turkey here at Circle C Farm. So I'm out here this evening and I wanted to go ahead and share with you what it looks like to live on a pastured poultry farm in the evening. Um, we get a lot of questions about what does the ground look like after we move the houses. So this happens to be a house that we just moved yesterday and you can see the area where the house was originally where the uh, chickens have gone ahead and eaten down all of the grasses and things like that that were under the house, which is where their waterer, um, their feeder is outside with the rice-based feed in it. And then you can see all the grass around them that they have access to 24 seven. And then we've got our livestock guardian dog, Maremas. And so they help to protect them. But I wanted to share with you this evening what it looks like uh, when we move the houses. So that you can see, um, how much they eat it down and the fact that they really are heavy grass eaters. So I'm going to walk from that house over to this one and you're going to see we've got a couple of chickens that are tucked down still and they're hiding in the grass. It's pretty cool this evening because we've gotten some rain and we typically get rain in the afternoons here in Florida. So here's another house that's right next to it. We're on an old orange grove that wasn't um, active for probably 30 plus years so we've got clean ground and clean soil of all of those you know there's no chemicals or anything like that so that's pretty cool but one of the things that's an advantage being on an old grove design is you can see the humps where they used the up and down humps for the orange trees and so they had done that and it's all designed for water flow and everything on the property from that point but the neat part is when it rains here, like it does in the afternoon during the summer season, we get um, the advantage of the water just rolling away from the chickens and then just moving on to a different part of the property. So that's an advantage. So if anybody had a question about that. So here we've got another house, which is just to the left of the one we walked from. And you can see where this group has also eaten down the grass where the house started at the beginning of the row. So that's real important because you can see the consistency. Depending on the group, um, and how much of a voracious eater they are, then uh, you'll see different amounts of grass that were left. But pretty typically underneath the houses, as you can see, they're kind of nestled in for the evening and settling in for the evening. But you can see the fact that they've eaten all of this down and that they're hanging out underneath. And even though they're hanging out and right now they're not eating anything, they will continue to eat through the course of the night. And then at sunrise, they are all out and quite frisky, and then they are back to eating grass like crazy. So I hope this gives you a little bit of insight and a peek into our mobile coops here at Circle C Farm. And we've got the turkeys in the way background, and uh, we have more chickens over here. So, hope you're having a wonderful day, and we just wanted to share that. Saying goodnight from Circle C Farm.